Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fridays Alive here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. The opener in 29 minutes at 5.55. Nine races to Peter Fast, as always. How about that 20 cent single six a jackpot carryover? A little shy of $60,000. You know, last night there were a couple of horses alive in the last leg that would have triggered a massive $127,000 plus payoff. Think about that, fans. 20 cents. Maybe get you 150 k tonight if you're the only ticket. Who knows, maybe even more. Fourth race is when the 20 cent single six jackpot gets underway, 725 post time. I'm your track announcer, Tony Kalo. Let's open up our programs. Here are the changes. Nothing to report in the Friday's Alive opener. Race one is clear of change. It will start the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. Ready for the Friday's Alive opener. And there they go. Kid Marvelous, not that quickly away. Thing breaks very alertly with the official business. Also, there is Mo Dazzle. From the inside is Neo King, Fast Felix from between runners. Kid Marvelous strides into the fourth spot, and here he comes to tackle the leaders. And he's going to go from fifth to first, just like that. Kid Marvelous from the top shelf, claiming the lead towards the tail of the field. Races El Paquin. So with the lead, it is Kid Marvelous. Modazzle is second with official business and thing. After that, Fast Felix. Neo King from the inside. El Paquin is at the back. 24 seconds, the board reads, for the opening quarter. Very, very soft for Kid Marvelous. Very soft for any six and a half furlong sprint. Kid Marvelous in hand, leads by almost two lengths. Official business is into the second spot. It's now about a length and a half at the quarter pole. Kid Marvelous, the one to beat. Mo Dazzles into third. Fast Felix makes a move for fourth outside of Thing. Then we'll go to Neo King and El Paquin. And it is Kid Marvelous who has the lead approaching the final furlong. Official Business is trying to test him up the inside. Kid Marvelous waiting on Official Business. Kid Marvelous, Official Business. Kid Marvelous has a race on his hands. Here's Official Business up the inside. Official Business wins the Friday's Alive opener out finishing Kid Marvelous. Neo King was third. Fast Felix checked in fourth. Chalk players must be disgusted. Kid Marvelous one to four on this huge class drop. Didn't get away that quickly. Made a very, very solid move to claim that top spot up the backstretch run. Got away with soft opening quarter, a soft half. Really not a lot of excuses, but he is out finished in the run to the wire by five official business, the second choice. At 9 to 2. 118 and 30 one hundredths. Official business is in the winner's circle. There's a six year old bay gelding by Candy Ride out of the Empire Maker Mare. Carrie Bell by Steve Robbins. Winning trainer is Matt Sims. Winning a jockey, Alex Ajar. Winner was Brett of Kentucky by Lachlo Farr. 5.7 exact to $26.30. 5.72 trifecta, $18.74. 10 cent super 5724 $9.77. Dollar super vector $97.70. Second race, scratch five, ritualistic. Five ritualistic, scratch from tonight's second race. Number one, Z chord, Adam Biskitza is the new jockey. One Z chord, a jockey change, Adam Biskitza. The weight's good at 120. Tonight's second race will kickstart the early pick four. Our second race is in 24 minutes at 625. And there they go. Comic Book hustled away from her stall, also showing pace as Blue Guitar, Desperate Times. And from the outside, Tough as Nails, four of them gun for the lead. Blue Guitar is the quickest. Blue Guitar from Comic Book and Desperate Times, Tough as Nails into the fourth spot. Sacord comes away running in fifth. Looks like there is some pace on. Sacord's a little less than four lengths off the lead from the inside. More than a length back to No Shug for Pop and Mischief Jack advancing from the outside. Angel on fire, a second last. Redheaded Stranger is the last of all 24 seconds. Good enough opening quarter for the level. And it is Blue Guitar with the lead. Blue Guitar past the 5 eights, nearly a length and a half. Desperate time, stocks from the second spot. And Mischief Jack's making a move for the third position with her as tough as nails and from the inside comic book. Here's Redheaded Stranger with a big rush to the far outside. She's into the fourth spot. She's wide heading into the turn, getting within three lengths of the pace. Sacord continues with her ground-saving journey. Now she's into the two path, has traffic to deal with. Looks like she has run, but where's she going to go? From the outside is No Shug for Pa. 
top. And at the back is Angel on fire. Blue Guitar still with the lead. Redheaded Stranger continues with her move. No Shug for Pop is circling into the scene from the outside. Then Mischief Jack. Desperate times. Tough as nails. Now Secord has come under plenty pressure, not really responding. And there's no Shug for Pop. No Shug for Pop comes away with the lead. Blue Guitar is running a heck of a race. A lot of fight to her. Redheaded Stranger is third. No Shug for Pop has the lead. Pass the Sugar. No Shug for Pop in race two. Blue Guitar is trying to hang on for second. Looks like she will from Redheaded Stranger. Checking in for Tough as Nails for the Superfecta. No Shug for Pop in race two. Leading jockey Luan Machado what he does best. Showing plenty of patience up the back stretch and finishing with a flourish. No Shug for Pop. Circled into the scene through the far turn run. And proved to be the best. 140 and 47 one hundreds. Good effort from six blue guitar and a photo for second. Make sure to hold all tickets. Second race is official. A nine no shug for Pop, a three-year-old dark bear brown filly by hard spun out of the Bodie Meister mare Enchanted Emma. And here she comes making her appearance in the winner's circle, which is in the paddock this evening. No shug for Pop. It's owned by Clays Hill Farms along with River Oak Farm. Then Colebrook is the winning a trader, winning a jockey, the Axeman, Luan Machado. She was bred in Kentucky by River Oak Farm. Exact to $72.86, the trifecta $72.15, five nine early double, $29.32. 10 cents superfecta, 9638, that's worth $169.82. The dollar super, $1,698.20. Third race eight, Feisty Matoli, two pounds over the way to double in a mid pick three. Tonight's third race is in 22 minutes at 6.55. And there they go. Awkward start, Cantaloupe along with Kendall Grace. Feisty Matoli not that quickly away either. Song of Norway is showing good speed with wild acclaim. Wicked Frost and Army Girl vie for third. I got a Bolts in the fifth spot. There's no tapping out. Isolated in the sixth position. About four and a half lengths off the lead. A link to Kendall Grace and Feisty Matoli. Esme and Cantaloupe is the last of all and with the lead. It's wild acclaim. Almost two lengths. Chasing her from the second spot is Song of Norway. Wicked Frost is third. I got a Bolts fourth from the far outside. And she gets within four lengths heading into the far turn run. A length back to Army Girl. I'm going to Feisty Matoli. No tapping out from between runners. Cantaloupe's trying to gear up from the rail is Kendall Grace. Esme can see them all, and Wild Acclaim has the lead. Wicked Frost is making her move. Here comes No Tapping Out. She's looking for somewhere to go. Looks like she's going to go outside of Wicked Frost. In the meantime, Kendall Grace finds a slip along the rail. Here's Kendall Grace coming away with the lead. Kendall Grace has the lead. No Tapping Out continues to close in, but her momentum was stalled just a bit. Kendall Grace with a much smoother trip to the wire, and she's the winner. 14-1, to 1, the lone mare. No tapping out might have been the best. She had a lot of trouble to deal with. I'm going to Wicked Frost. Fourth and fifth involves I got a bolt and Song of Norway. The lone mare won with room to spare. That's because she got a very a smooth trip. Very nice ride by Andres Kalea. Kendall Grace, the lone mare with that inside split, turning into the lane, found plenty of room and kicked a clear trouble trip for no tapping out. She had a lot of momentum, somewhat of it stalled. She tried to maneuver outside of Wicked Frost. It took her a little while to secure that path or at least have enough confidence to go there. When she did find that spot, she leveled out beautifully and was really closing in nicely. One Wicked Frost, third, then 10, I got a bolt. Kendall Grace. Lone Mare, five-year-old Bay Mare by Gan the Man out of the Even the Score Mare. Lake and Ray, or Lake and Ray, won by Billy Harden. Israel Acevedo is the winning edge trader, winning edge jockey is Andres Galea. It was bred in Kentucky by owner Billy Harden. 5 2 exact to $119.08. 5 2 1 trifecta, $176.82. A 9 5 daily double, $66.76. 10 cents superfecta, 5 2 1 10. $183.76, a dollar superfecta, $1,837.62, $595, early pick three, $206.63. 
It's time for the 20 cent single six jackpot fan. $60,000 carryover, just about 60,000. Fourth race, scratch one fan. The fire also scratch 10. Jaber, one and 10 out of the fourth. Eight, innocent man, two pounds over the one. And there they go. Silent Spectre is out for the lead. Roja Redemption also flashing plenty of foot. Gamer comes away in good order. He's third through the early stages. It is Silent Spectre making the pace to the 7 8s. Roja Redemption is second. Gamer has the third position. Sterling's Gold is into the fourth spot. Haskell is fifth from the outside. Ferris Assault is sixth. Innocent Man from his outside. And Breakout Star is the last of all. And it's Silent Spectre with the lead. Two and a half lengths entering the backstretch to Roja Redemption. Gamers in the third position. A little more than four lengths off the pace. Half a length to Sterling's Gold. Another length and a half to Haskell. Almost a length back to Ferris Assault from the inside. Almost three lengths to a Breakout Star Racing with Innocent Man. And it's Silent Spectre calling the shots. And he leads by two and a half for three from Roja Redemption. Gamer inches a little closer up the inside. Sterling's Gold's in the fourth spot. Seven lengths from Silent Spectre. Haskell tries to take off to the outside. Here comes Haskell with his run. First assaults under a drive from the inside. Silent Spectre has the lead. Gamer's getting closer likewise for Haskell. Here comes Gamer and Haskell after the three-year-old Silent Spectre. And Gamer is tackling Silent Spectre. And Gamer has come away with the lead. Silent Spectre's back to second. Haskell tries to take off. Here's Ferris Assault making a nice move up the inside. Breakout star to the extreme outside. They all have to run down. Gamer. Gamer beat them all to the punch. It's Gamer in front. Another one for the Axeman, Luan Machado. Breakout star was second. Then Ferris Assault. Haskell. And checking in fourth, or checking in fifth, was Silent Spectre. Two to one favorite gets it done. That's number three. Gamer, 138 and 79 one hundredths. Luan Machado with another riding victory. The Axeman is just so patient over this tapita surface. He had Gamer in a beautiful spot up the back stretch, utilizing an inside draw. And when he made his move after Silent Spectre, he quickly reeled him in and kicked clear from the others. Three Gamer, a two to one favorite, getting it done in the first leg of the 20 cent single six a jackpot, 138 and 79 one hundredths. Photo for the balance, please hold all tickets. Gamer makes his way into the winner's circle. He was game this evening, indeed. A five year old to beg Elding by twirling a candy out of the Bellamy Road mare. Back Road Bellamy. On the train by Steve Asmussen. A double for the Axeman, Luan Machado. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Pope McLean, Mark McLean, Pope McLean Jr. 10 cents super fact of $46.58. Dollar super, $465.83. 953, pick three, $109.77. 37 exact to $68.32. 372 trifecta, $76.80. A 53 daily double is good for $45.41. I'll get back to that double payoff. I think that was right, but. Let's just check it for good measure. Yep, $45.41. All right, fifth race, we'll start our late pick five, named in honor of Wagstaff Incorporated. Scratches 5, 11, and 12, Austin Strong, Roaring Rapids, and Sweet Freedom. 13 and 14 draw in off the also eligible list. 13, Ask Arthur, will pick up the services of Axel Concepcion, and the weight's good at 120. 10 title contender will carry one pound over our late pick five, 22 minutes away at 7.55. And there they go. How's your attitude? And Ovoy, Ove and Sandpipes, these are the three quickly away. Sandpipes from the rail, Ove in the two path. How's your attitude? Three wide, this time from the extreme outside. It is Sandpipes. The speed at the seven eights from Ove. Warring Thunder is eager to go from the inside. Jock wants him to relax. He is really a handful. This time advances in the clear. How's your attitude's in the fifth spot? Only two and a half for three off the lead. Three lengths to Ask Arthur, six lengths from the front. A length to Storm and Willie and title contender. It's better than a four lengths to Drury Lane. A telescopic is second last, and Freddie Mac is the last of the 11 three-year-olds. A good opening quarter of 23 and two-fifths. This time's up to the front. Sandpipes immediately counters. Ask Arthur chases them with Warring Thunder. 
How's your attitude? He's in a nice spot, heading into the far turn run, isolated in fifth, and here he comes with his run. How's your attitude to the outside, getting within three lengths, and also trying to close in is Ove. Ove's making his move. And also further out there, races, ask Arthur. So Ove is the one that was up close to the action. How's your attitudes? Come away with the lead. Ove is there this time. Also closing in, ask Arthur. Freddie Max beginning a big move. So too trying to close in. Telescopic. How's your attitude? He was the one that was in that perfect spot up the back stretch. Here's Ask Arthur. Here's Freddie Mac to the far outside. Freddie Mac's hitting his best stride. How's your attitudes trying to get to the wire? Ask Arthur and Freddie Mac are closing in. How's your attitude with that beautiful trip? Can he hang on for the score? How's your attitude? How's your attitude from Ask Arthur? Freddie Mac third, then Telescopic, and after him was Drury Lay. In a perfect spot up the back stretch, he was isolated in the fifth position, and you can see when he maneuvered to the outside, heading into the far turn run, he had a good stride. 138 and 87 one hundredths. Had a little trouble in the call between Ove and Ask Arthur. Ask Arthur really leveled off nicely in the concluding stages, so too did Freddie Mac. Officially, though, we are waiting for the results. 138 and 87, 100 the final running time. How's your attitude? He's in the winner's circle. Three-year-old make old by Street Sense out of the Wildcat Air Mare. Darren Cathy by Welch Racing LLC. Winning a Traders John Ennis. Winning jockey Adam Biscitza. The dynamic duo strikes again. How's your attitude? Was bred in Kentucky by Malibu Farm LLC. 713.96. Early pick four, $544.53. $0.10 Superfecta, $246.66. $713 exacta, $194.04. $713 at nine, a trifecta, $141.64. $37 daily double, $14.30. Early pick five, $3,200, $44.75. Four out of five is good for $33.37. Race six will start our late pick four. Number one, Dubond, a jockey change to Axel Concepcion. Two best man speech, one pound over the weight. Likewise for seven, dashed, one pound over. Two and seven, both one pound over the weight. Race six in 20 minutes at 8.30. And there they go. Brisk beginning, drunken sailor from that far outside. Dashed is also quickly away. Midnight Ambition third, headed by Dumond. Best Man Speech splits them. Fast and Ready is in the sixth spot. He's in midfield, and he's about four lengths off the pace. Better than three lengths to aspiring comedian. The other three are far back. That star of Cesarea, Stately Order, and Lord Zeke. Dash now gets to the front. Drunken Sailor's in a good spot from the second position. Dumond third with Midnight Ambition. They have more than three and a half to make up on Dashed. And after them, to the outside is fast and ready and trying to close in aspiring comedian from the inside. Stately Order is picking up a nice stride. He gets within about seven or eight lengths of the leader who remains dashed. After him, star of Cesarea. Just in front of both of them was best man speech. Still Lord Zeke far out of it. Here comes Midnight Ambition, three wide and Drunken Sailor. They're both going to tackle Dash, who still keeps the lead. Dash has the lead. Drunken Sailor fights on from between runners. Midnight Ambition to the far outside. It still is Dash at a big number. Drunken Sailor's trying to wear him down in between runners. Here comes Drunken Sailor after Dash. Drunken Sailor's now getting to the front. Dash is trying to fight on. Drunken Sailor. Winning debut for him. Dash checks in second. Then Midnight Ambition. Dumont, star of Cesarea. And from the inside, aspiring comedian. Nice debut run from number 10, Drunken a Sailor. Broke like a rocket from that far outside. Settled into a good stocking position and came with a good run, wearing down seven Dash. He was really up to the task at a big, big price. Or Midnight Ambition had a lot of momentum through the turn. Third was the best he could manage. 118 and 64 one hundredths, the final time from tonight's sixth. Race six is official. Here is Drunken Sailor. Three year old Chestnut Gelding wins his first start. He's by Midshipman out of the Deher Mare. He got won by Ice Wine Stable, winning trainer Wesley Ward, winning jockey Walter Rodriguez. This winner was bred in Pennsylvania by Horseshoe Valley Equine Center LLC, along with Best Foot Forward Holding.
A 10 cent Superfecta, $243.03. Dollar Superfecta, $2430.30. 3710 Pick 3, $58.37. 10-7 exact at $165.22. 10-7-4 trifecta, $273.06. 7 10 daily double, $31 and a penny. Seventh race starts the late pick three. A three, four, and 11 all carry one pound over 20 minutes away at 8.57. Number four, Akana, the lone debuter is the current favorite. Pretty wide open wagering event. Standing room only for the late pick three. And there they go. Pretty good start for all of them. Last U-turn. I feel lucky tonight. They are quickly away. Last U-turn from the inside. Elm Street fires into the second spot. It's last U-turn at Elm Street. They are 1-2 at the 7-8. And into the third position. Racing after them is I feel lucky tonight. And to the far outside, here comes Colton's Pride. Last U-turn, Colton's Pride to the far outside. Elm Street's in the two-path. I feel lucky tonight from between runners. Along the inside, their race is Big Tap. Vino Caldo also goes with them along with Bally Cotton Bay. Pretty compact group. Steal the roads. About five or six lengths off the lead. A length and a half to Akata. I'm going to mastery and polished racing with him. His favorite haunt, and at the back of the pack, there is 10 bits. So it is last U turn with the lead. Vino Caldo's making his move. Here comes Steal the Road to the outside. Steal the Road and Vino Caldo after last U turn. From the inside is Elm Street. And Colton's Pride is about five lengths off the lead. I feel lucky tonight. Tries to go with him. And also quickening in along the inside is Big Tap. Still last U-turn. Last U-turn with the lead. Here comes Favorite Haunt. He's in the fourth spot. He's closing in. Last U-turn. Vino Caldo's on the attack. Here's Vino Caldo after last U-turn. Last U-turn and Vino Caldo. And also trying to close in. Continues with Favorite Haunt. Elm Street is also there. And trying to wind up farther on the field is Mastery and Polish. But it's last U-turn still with the lead. Favorite Haunt comes with a big run. Favorite Haunt after last U-turn. Favorite haunt in last U-turn. Who will it be? Maybe last U-turn. Very tight. Last U-turn and favorite haunt. Third and fourth got equally as tight between Elm Street and Mastery and Polished. Very tight on the line. Last U-turn and favorite haunt. 140 and 56 100s. Number one, last U-turn. That inside draw, gunned hard from the inside. Boy, he kept on going for a long time. A lot of horses tried to make runs after him. Favorite Haunt was really leveling off very nicely. Looked like he had him for half a second. Let's check out this slow-mo. My initial thoughts were the one last U-turn got a pretty favorable bob along the inside. We shall see. Got pretty tight also for third and fourth. 140 and 56 100s the final time. Last U-turn is in the winner's circle. Last U-turn is a three-year-old chestnut gelding by Flame Away out of the Mission Impossible Mare, Mission Good Karma. Owned by Wilson Eduardo Calindres. The winning trainer is Reggie Rodriguez and the winning jockey, the bug boy, German Terraza. Winner was bred in Maryland by Wasabi Ventures Stables LLC along with Green Spring Mares LLC. 1725, the top four finishers. That 10 cent Superfecta, $171.93. A 17 Exacta, $101.62. 172 Trifecta, $158.30. 10 1 Daily Double, $44.07. Dollar Superfecta, $1719.38. 710 1 Pick 3, $159.46. Race 8 is the Friday's Live featured event. A very nice allowance race for three year olds and up. First allowance condition, optional claiming tag of $25,000. Lots of anticipation surrounding Six Suncroft, who really dazzled in his debut on the 23rd of December. There are four scratches, one, two, four, and seven. Perfect prankster, nasty habit, zoomer, all jokes aside. Number 10, Bodacious Colton will carry two pounds over the weight. Suncroft, one to two, first click, the dominating favorite on the board. Scooby Quando returning to the races, three to one. The eighth race, our Friday's Alive feature, beginning the late daily double, 20 minutes away. And there they go. Suncroft towards the tail of the field. Olazabal begins very briskly. He makes the pace from code name. 
Rivoli's up close. Scooby Quando strides into the third spot. Here's Suncroft making up ground rapidly, guided into the clear. He's currently in the fifth spot, and he's about five lengths off the lead, maybe a little less than that. Two and a half clear from Supremely, and Bodacious Colton is at the back. So Ola Zabel is the speed, and Codename stays close to him in second. 22 and one fifth that opening quarter. Suncroft strides into the third spot. He's five lengths off the lead, heading into the turn. A length and a half to Scooby Quando. Supremely's trying to wind up three deep. Rivoli from the inside. Bodacious Colton's at the back. And here comes Suncroft after the top two. Asked for a little bit of run. Suncroft, he's three lengths from the leader, Olazabal. Olazabal has the lead. Codename is second. Suncroft really needs to go from there in third to his outside. Making up ground is Supremely. Olazabal still the leader. Olazabal gives them the slip. Suncroft's taking his sweet time to wind up. He's into second, but Olazabal has a big lead in deep stretch, and Olazabal's going to post this upset. He's a gate-to-wire winner in the Friday's Life feature at 11-1. to 1. Suncroft plays second fiddle in his second start. In third, their code name, then Supremely, Rivoli, Bodacious Colton, and Scooby Quando. Our Friday's Alive featured event, a no chalk zone, the Urban Handicapper. Big shout out to Barry, 110 and 25, 100. Ola Zabel, gate to wire winner. Posting this big upset at 11 to 1, 6 Suncroft. Came away in last, put himself into a good spot heading into the turn, but past that 5 16 boy, he was under a little bit of pressure. Second best is all he can manage. Third place, nine code name. Fourth place, three supremely. Eight, six, nine, three, unofficially in the Fridays Alive featured event. In the winner's circle is number eight, Ola Zabel. A four year old dark bear brown gelding by Bolt de Oro out of the Tisnow Mare Derby Eve by Douglas Miller and William Wargill, winning a trainer's Eric Foster, winning jockey Abel Zadio. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Susan Kastner. And race eight is official. Eight, six, nine, three, top four finishers. Exact of $45.88. 10 cents Superfecta, $58.99. Dollar Superfecta, $589.90. 10, one, eight, pick three, $434.65. 869 a trifecta, $62.43. One eight daily double, $161.87. Ninth and final, one and ten have both been scratched from the nightcap. A super high five opportunity, 22 minutes away at 9.55. And there they go. Very awkward start. Good soul. Mr. Cunningham begins the best from the inside. Hindo Stain Falls is in the second position. Cousin Odell comes away running in third. It is Mr. Cunningham, the quickest of all to the clubhouse run. Right off his heels races Liberty Blue. Mackenzie's Nova's in the fifth position. After that, we go to Warrior's Place, and he is six lengths off the lead. A length to step on it with Groom Lake from the far outside, and Good Soul had that awkward start. He's the last of nine entering the back stretch. And Mr. Cunningham has the lead. Cousin Odell is his pace partner. Mackenzie's Nova's in the clear, stalking from the outside. From between runners is Hindo Stain Falls, and from the rail is Liberty Blue. Warrior's Place is a little less than four lengths from the front with Groom Lake to his outside. They're two and a half clear from step on it, better than three lengths to Good Soul. 24 and two fifths from Mr. Cunningham, 49 seconds the half. Cousin Odell continues to chase this leader. Mr. Cunningham, a length and a tail at the 3 8. Mackenzie's Nova makes a solid bid. He's into the second spot with momentum. Warriors' place is all in, and he's closing in steadily. Groom Lake's been covering a ton of ground, and he gets within four lengths of Mr. Cunningham. And after him, Liberty Blue from the inside. Step on it. Hindo Stain falls in good soul. And Mr. Cunningham's the one to beat. Mr. Cunningham still the leader. A final furlong for all the money. Mackenzie's Nova second with Warriors Place. Groom Lake to the inside. Step on it's coming. Here comes Warriors Place after Mr. Cunningham. Warriors Place trying to tag Mr. Cunningham for all the money when it counts the most. And he does it. Warriors place for Mr. Cunningham, the Mackenzie's Nova step on it in Groom Lake for that super high five. Big run six, Warriors place, Mr. Cunningham. Did all the heavy lifting here in the nightcap. He led the entire trip, except when it mattered the most right on the line. Here's six, Warriors place. Just relentless in his pursuit of victory. 
And he gets up in the nightcap, tagging to Mr. Cunningham late. Third place, nine, Mackenzie's Nova. Fourth place, eight, step on a fifth place, 11, Groom Lake for that super high five. 139 and 86, 100s, the final time from the nightcap. In the winter circle is six, Warriors Place, a four-year-old dark bear brown gelding by War Dancer out of the Out of Place Mare, Save My Place, by Walmack Farm. Winning trainer is Ethan West, winning jockey Axel Concepcion. The winner was bred in Indiana by Deanne and Greg Bear. Six, two, nine, eight, 11. One, eight, six, late pick three, $465.61. 6-2 exacta from the nightcap, $47.28. 6-2-9 $39.73. 6 late daily double, $47.28. Late pick four, $2,340.22. $0.10 cent super, $14.62. Looks like that pick six was scooped up for better than $100,000. How about the late pick five? $10,570.72. Four out of five, $81.72. Super high five was hit. $267.08. So it looks like somebody has scooped up our 20 cent single six jackpot better than $103,000 if I saw that correctly. $103,866.43. Heck of a payoff. 186 late pick three, $465.61. So better than $10,000 for the late pick five, better than $100,000 for the 20 cent single six and jackpot. Congratulations to that lone winning ticket. It's a big payday, that's for sure. Friday's Alive coming to a conclusion. All sorts of great action on the gaming floor. Check out our race and sports book, live music at Bourbon and Brew. That happens all the way up until midnight. So stick around, all sorts of great entertainment for the Friday's Alive program. We'll see you again tomorrow, 555 First Post. Sure hope you had a great Friday night of racing. When leaving the track, please drive very carefully. So it's been racing from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.